Shalom, every one of you. Grace and peace to you from our Lord Jesus Christ. Jesus is the only way for our salvation. He died on the cross, not because of his sins, but for our sins, he died and rose again on the third day. Whatever sins you have committed before, the works of Jesus is bigger than your sin. Just come to the Lord in faith and in dependence to Jesus and you will be uh, saved. Amen. Today, Jesus uh, did a uh, journey with uh, his uh, parents. Let me read um, the book of uh, Luke, uh, chapter 2, verse 46 uh, to 47. After three days, uh, they found him in the temple courts, uh, sitting among the teachers, uh, listening to them and asking them questions. Uh, everyone who heard him was amazed at his understanding and his uh, answers. Uh, Joseph and Mary, Jesus' earthly uh, mother, they uh, did a um, pilgrim's uh, journey. <laughs> from their place uh, Nazareth to Jerusalem where temple was uh, located uh, they um, did a journey to worship God in the temple now Jesus um, he um, grew and this time he also joined the uh, the journey with uh, his uh, parents. Considering the distance from Nazareth to uh, Jerusalem, they say it may take uh, five days uh, on uh, foot. For this uh, journey, they uh, traveled uh, to uh, Jerusalem to keep Passover. Probably when they uh, did uh, the journey, people were together with uh, their relatives uh, or people in their hometown uh, together. They rested uh, together when they were tired uh, and they also um, gather and discuss uh, the following day's uh, trip traveling plan. Here, Jesus' uh, um, earthly uh, father uh, Joseph and um, Mary, their worship was uh, done and they were on the way to their home. Then Joseph and Mary were shocked because uh, they couldn't find uh, their son, Jesus. They were so shocked uh, and surprised. Um, they asked the uh, people, Do you see my son, Jesus? Do you see? Do you see? They couldn't find uh, uh, Jesus uh, and they um, went uh, to Jerusalem. And on the third day, since uh, they uh, tried to find uh, Jesus, uh, they found uh, Jesus in the temple. And Jesus uh, was... Uh, talking with uh, religious leaders uh, and the leaders uh, were marveled uh, at answers of uh, uh, Jesus. Uh, Mary um, uh, said to uh, Jesus, um, why you did you behave in that way? 
You didn't know we would worry about you, but uh, Jesus said, uh, Don't you know that uh, I have to stay, I have to be in my father's house? Uh? Probably some of you think uh, Jesus' uh, answer uh, sounds a uh, little uh, uh, curious. Uh? Some of you may think, uh, isn't it better to say uh, for Jesus to say to his parents um, first uh, sorry uh, I am sorry to make you worried <laughs> by the way Jesus uh, earthly parents uh, they knew the secret of uh, Jesus uh, birth uh, and they also uh, recognized uh, Jesus came as a Messiah. Jesus uh, put his uh, best priority in God's work uh, more than family and personal affair. In with uh, this context, uh, we can understand the answers of uh, Jesus. Uh, now. Let us uh, look at ourselves. How do you put your best priority in your life? Are you just following the worldly way as uh, people in the world that usually follow? So, my job is, has the best priority, my parents' um, decision has the best priority, my children's education has the best priority. No, we have to put our best priority in God's uh, work. Now, we are doing program, spiritual exercise uh, called the uh, Pilgrim's uh, Journey. And uh, coming uh, week, uh, five days, uh, we focus uh, on the time with uh, God. In our life, uh, there are many uh, important uh, things uh, to do. But uh, the most important uh, one is uh, to spend the time with uh, God. And now, um, why are you motivated to join Pilgrim's uh, Journey? It's not because uh, you would be awarded or uh, prize uh, only by church, right? You are joining here to receive uh, the blessings of God directly from the Lord. It may be difficult uh, to us, uh, for us uh, to do fasting prayer and join the whole pilgrim's uh, journey in the whole month. Uh. But uh, just uh, expect uh, the blessings of God as we uh, join it with uh, endurance uh, and also with uh, our priority. We remember well what Jacob experienced, right? When uh, Esau oh, decided to harm Jacob, uh, before meeting, encountering with uh, Esau, you know, along the Jabok River, beside the Jabok River, Jacob earnestly prayed to God, and God secured uh, his uh, blessings uh. and uh, he uh, was greatly uh, blessed uh, and became the ancestor of uh, 12 tribes uh. and the name of Israel was made uh, after his uh, own name now some of you have a fasting five days uh, or one day or half a day every day whatever schedule you may have uh, 
let us uh, try to spend uh, time with the Lord from 7 p.m. to 9 p.m. two hours. Is it okay with you? Let us do expecting the blessings of God. And uh, next uh, week, um, you are doing quiet time, devotion with the Bible, right? Can you try you do quiet time before you eat breakfast? Just one week, five days. Let's try to do it. Luke chapter 2 verse 51 to 52. Then he went down to Nazareth with them and was obedient to them. But his mother treasured all these things in her heart. And Jesus grew in wisdom and stature and in favor with God and man. From this uh, text, uh, it describes uh, Jesus uh, obeyed uh, his parents uh, very uh, well. Obeying parents uh, is uh, shown in the fifth uh, commandment, fifth um, one in the tenth commandment, right? Jesus uh, didn't just uh, sitting always um, read the Bible and pray. I think uh, Jesus um, helped uh, his father's uh, work uh, and maybe uh, cooking with his mother uh, too. And he cleaned uh, his house uh, and uh, when neighbors need some help, uh, he, he was very willing to help them. And he um, was uh, loved uh, by God and by man. Now let us also again look at our lives. Uh. If you join only uh, Sunday worship and focus on Sunday and Monday to Saturday, you um, just uh, live uh, the life uh, in the same way of uh, non-believers. Uh, it is uh, very uh, uh, wrong. All right. No. It's important uh, to join Sunday worship and uh, read the Bible, and pray, and singing uh, to the Lord, and also your daily life, uh, your duty, responsibility is also very uh, important. Uh, you just, uh, even though you join worship every Sunday in the year, but if you neglect uh, your responsibility. For example, if you are a student, uh, what is your responsibility? It is a study, right? If uh, you work in company, what is your responsibility daily? You have to work faithfully. And um, if you have responsibility to cook and do house chores, uh, you also have to do diligently the things uh, which are assigned uh, to you. So, Light of Life Church um, members, um, people say in this way, Christians uh, should be more diligent uh, than other uh, people because uh, we spend the time with the Lord in the work of God, right? And we also have to do our uh, works uh, of uh, responsibilities, right? So we need to live a balanced uh, life. Of course, uh, God's work has a higher, highest uh, priority. And uh, Jesus uh, showed uh, to us uh, good example, the best example to us. And third, uh, thinking in God. 
chapter 2, verse 48 in the book of Luca. When his parents saw him, they were astonished that his mother said to him, Son, why have you treated us like this? Your father and I have been anxiously searching for you. Why were you searching for me? He asked. Didn't you know I had to be in my father's house? Joseph and Mary were too worried uh, when they couldn't find uh, Jesus. Uh, but uh, um, if uh, there had been a cell phone at the time, they uh, could have uh, called Jesus uh, and they might confirm where Jesus was uh, and their worries uh, would be gone, right? But uh, sadly, at that time, there's uh, no smartphone or uh, cell phone. If uh, Joseph and Mary had uh, have uh, thinking, if uh, they um, had a thought uh, in God when Jesus uh, was not found, uh, the response uh, would be very different, would uh, have been very different. But uh, in their thoughts, uh, they didn't consider where Jesus uh, is uh, was uh, in God. And now, what worries uh, concerns uh, do you have? Uh, we just uh, started uh, January, right? And you may be worrying about your tuitions uh, and um, provisions, uh, your health. Uh, but uh, you still uh, include uh, God's plan and provision for you. Without God's plan and provision and love, just if you are worrying or things uh, yourself, uh, it is uh, wrong. And uh, worries uh, will be added to you more and more. And uh, now, let us uh, trust uh, in God. Let us uh, surrender our life uh, to the uh, Lord and follow His decision and advice uh, and guidance. Uh, and we will live uh, in peace uh, of Jesus uh, in spite of our struggles uh, and difficulties. Uh. When we uh, seek His righteousness and kingdom, all things uh, will be added. Uh, even the sparrow, a bird uh, in the sky, cannot fall without the permission of God. Jesus says, uh, do not worry, do not worry. How much more you are important than these uh, things? Uh. And, uh, I wish and pray that uh, Light of Life Church members, uh, we uh, just... Uh, Tell all our worries uh, to God and uh, walk uh, day by day by uh, faith. Uh. Hallelujah. Let's uh, pray uh, uh, together. Heavenly uh, Father, thank you uh, for today's uh, message. Yeah. Jesus uh, put the best priority in you, our Lord. Lord, help us that uh, we may also follow this e example, especially we are about to do a um, um, prayer-focused week uh, tomorrow. Holy Spirit, uh, help us uh, uh, that um, we uh, may um, finish it successfully by your help. Uh, oh Lord, uh, bless us. Uh, also, um, uh, help us uh, that uh, not only um, while we uh, put uh, our best priority in God and God's work, uh, and we may also not neglect uh, our um, responsibilities and duties. Uh. Lord, uh, we also pray uh, uh, that uh, 
instead of um, uh, worrying, uh, we um, may uh, tell all our concerns uh, in uh, prayer to you, uh, Lord. In the name of Jesus, we pray. Amen.